my tool, my clutch plate alignment tool, which I've had forever. And I used to have it in a little yellow box. And the little yellow box rotted out or wasted away or something. And at a certain point, I put it in a bag and I put it back there on that shelf full of yellow boxes with stuff on it. And when I needed it, I couldn't find it. So, this is a universal clutch tool. It comes with a bunch of different sized uh, little pilot bearing fittings. I think the one that's on here is probably for a Volkswagen. Uh, so I'm going to find the right one to fit this pilot bearing. And we'll use this to line up the clutch plate. Uh, so put on the, am I saying the right words, clutch plate? That needs to fit in that. You can't see what I'm doing. Let me get all my pieces and parts laid out here and then I'll try to explain this in a way that makes sense. Ah, I've got a bunch of little, these little things. And I just gotta find the right one. I'm pretty sure some of these ain't them. And that ain't it. I get them all out here to help me to figure it out. So I'm going to point you at the pilot bearing. This is the pilot bearing. This is the flywheel. Uh, this is the the end of the shaft of the transmission goes in here. And then this transmission plate goes out here. But you have to line this plate up when you're putting this all together. Y'all help me remember which way this goes. Does this go that way or that way? Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking it goes that way. But otherwise, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go and look. Go and look to see which way it goes. But what you do is you gotta have a little tiny shaft this just fits inside that pilot bearing. And could be this one. I think so. Could be that one. close. No prize. If it's not that one, it's got to be this one. <sighs> Pretty bad when you can't remember which way the clutch plate goes up in there. Probably written on it somewhere. Probably sits front and back or something. Yeah, that's pretty sturdy. So the way that goes is this goes like that. This goes, let me say, this is flywheel side right there. See it? I didn't have to go look it up. Flywheel side. And then this little gizmo right here goes on here like this. And you get that on there, you slide that in good and snug. And that holds this in the proper location so that you can install uh, this big old heavy clutch I need to get my terminology together clutch disc clutch plate flywheel zero out bearing <laughs> and the bad thing is I'm bad about I'm really bad about saying the wrong thing even if I know what I'm talking about my mouth and my brain are only loosely connected to each other in such a way that sometimes I'll be thinking about the foot bone connecting to the leg bone, but I might actually say the leg bone connects to the elbow bone just because my brain is not, I'm not real well focused in general. Sack 63 and Pallet, he can tell you. He can tell you stories about when we was growing up and we was kids out in, out in Arkansas. That one was our next door neighbor and me and 63 and Pallet used to go down and play in the creek. He can tell you stories about how unfocused I was and how many switchings I got. My mom used to switch my leg because I couldn't, I couldn't behave. Couldn't behave despite myself. And he just asked him, he'd tell you. 
he's there. He remembers. He knows. He knows all them stories. So I don't necessarily have the right bolts for this, but I got enough of bolts to put them in here to basically sort of fit this together. That is a big clutch. Yeah, that's actually a truck clutch, and I don't think I'm going to put a, a truck clutch in this. I think I'm going to order me up a... Well, I've actually got a smaller clutch, but I need a smaller flywheel. I can't put this clutch... I can't put that small clutch on that other on that other one. It's too... Uh, what am I trying to say? It's, 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 the, this flywheel is too big for that other clutch that I'm talking about. Well, we'll see. This might still let us... We're basically marking this thing up anyway. So, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. This thing will turn out okay in the long run. Let me get me a... I could use a little R, a little R wrench. I got me, a, I got me some R. I got me some little R wrenches that I think works. Let's try one. I don't use them a whole lot, but once in a while I think they come in handy. Let's see if this one still works. I need to drop more of a mystery. Basically, I just push this in here, good and sturdy to hold that in the middle, and I just have these ones in here. So the next thing is take this off. All right, now. chain back inside of there somewhere. Maybe, maybe over in here somewhere. Look at the head bolt or something. Or something. Or something, I don't know. Maybe I can leave it off for now while we steady on this. Now this here's a good old fashioned Chevy style bell housing. It goes like this right here. Get me another screw or two. I'll poke some screws in that. Uh, I might want to change this over and put head bolts in it. We're just going to stick a couple of screws in this bell housing. Just enough to kind of hold it, hold it all in place for a little while while we figure out. Now is we got a, a straight a straight shot <coughs> into here for our transmission to go into and this is the Chevy style transmission mount and that shaft I was talking about goes right in there. So This ain't that much fun, I just say all that. I know I can do this in a better way than this. I just gotta figure it out. I might take a couple head bolts because head bolts will fit in these and I could set the transmission on the head bolts. I could saw the tail shaft off of a couple of head bolts and hang that transmission on it and give me something to wiggle on as I'm trying to line this thing up. Might be a pretty good idea. I got some extra head bolts over there. Uh, yeah. 
think I'll do that. Cause this is wearing me out. I'm just saying. Wearing me out. Birds singing today, that's a happy sound. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw these two bolts into that transmission and use them kind of like a little lineup shaft. I'll sort of ease this back to get these in here that way. I won't have to pick this up when I was a young fella. I was a lot more enthusiastic about picking these up and wrestling them around, swinging them around, twisting them, woggling them. I'd do it laid under a car on my back. In my old age, I'm kind of just not as excited about that kind of activity. I could probably still do it for a little while, but I don't have I don't have quite the horsepower I had when I was younger. I'm, my compression rate maintaining real high RPM than I did when I was younger. Some of you young fellas ain't discovered that yet. You live long enough, it, it'll come to you. Just saying. So see what I want to do is get that hole there lined up with that. This hole over here lined up with this. Get this on that. This other one on this one up here. My shaft is in there a little too far. That's a little better. See that way too, I can kind of turn the shaft a little bit. I don't know if it's in gear or not. It could be problematic if it's not. used to do I've got one over there them old fashioned bell housings are open on the bottom and you can put your clutch on your shaft slide it in there and then turn the bolts as you ease it around I don't necessarily have to have, have, to have the clutch in here to do this because all I'm going to be doing is lining up this engine but my thinking with, with the clutch was I could also set up the uh, the clutch linkage, but you know what I might do is take that because what's what's hard to get in there is where I put that little thing I slid in there that little uh, lineup shaft. Getting that lineup shaft and that pilot bearing and this threaded threaded bit all lined up is often very challenging, and it may be that. Uh, might be easier just to take off the uh, take the clutch off of there and put the, put this on there and set up my mounts, my engine mounts, my transmission mounts, and order me the right size flywheel for the clutch that I want to run in this thing. Might make a heck of a lot more sense than what I'm trying to do here. I'm gonna give this two or three more wiggles if it don't jump in there. That's what I'm gonna do is pop it out, pop it off of there. Go a different route with it. 